NBA Youngboy is going to be played in standard tuning and then capoed on the first fret of the guitar. If all you want to do is play standard chords, you can get away uh, with a B minor, a D major, a G major, to an A major. But if you want to play kind of the riffy feel that you hear happening, that thing, uh, you're going to have to play some non-conventional chords. So the first chord is still a B minor, but the way that we're going to fret it is we're going to bar with our first finger across the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th fret. And I'm speaking now from this point forward as though my capo is the nut. So that's my 0, my 1 is the actual 2 fret of the guitar, my 2 is the actual 3 fret of the guitar, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to bar with our first finger across the 7th fret. Put either your pinky finger or your ring finger, whichever is most comfortable for you, down on the 5 string 9th fret. And we're going to go, uh, this is finger pick by the way, but you could use a pick if you want to. But I'm going to go thumb, thumb on string 6, 5, and then my second finger is going to grab the 3 string where my bar is hitting the 7th fret of the 3th string. And then I'm going to come, then I'm going to come back with my thumb to the 5 string, and that's the B minor. And then we're going to come up to a D chord or our relative D chord of this uh, capo key here. And the way that I'm going to do that is first string, or, or first finger to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fret of the 6th string. First finger to the 10th fret of the 6th string. I'm going to kind of slide into it. And then, then we'll hit with our thumb on the open 4th string, which is the same note. But then our second finger on our left hand needs to go down on the uh, three string 11 fret, which is the real 12 fret. And that's going to be our D chord, just a thumb, thumb, and then, you know, some other finger grabbing the third string. So the B minor. The D chord. Sorry, I was still kind of thinking my way through that. And then, finally, or not finally, but for the first round, we're going to settle into a G chord, which will be first finger on the sixth string three fret, and ring finger on the three string four fret. And we'll go thumb on the sixth string, and then pluck. I'm using my second finger to pluck the three string. And then before going back to the B minor. We can hear that bass G note, that six string three, uh, that six string three fret repeat again, like, and then it jumps back into that B minor. So G, uh, six string, three string, and then six string, and then right back to the B minor, to the D chord, and the second time through it goes. So the way that you're going to do that is the second time through after that G chord, you will put your first finger on the 6th string 3 fret and immediately slide it to the 6th string 5 fret. And then your pinky finger needs to go down on the 3 string 7 fret. You'll pluck that and then slide your pinky finger down 1 fret to the 3 string 6 fret and then it starts over again on the B minor. So B minor to the D chord, down to the G chord, hit the G note again, and then come up to the B minor chord, up to the D chord, to the G chord, and then that little A riff, and then it repeats. Okay, um, while that is happening, there's a, a simultaneous uh, secondary riff happening, that is... The way that you're going to do that is it's going to begin with a hammer-on from... I'm using my first finger and my ring finger. 
from the two string five fret to the two string seven fret. So you hammer on with your ring finger to the two string seven fret and then immediately come back to your first finger on the two string five fret. And then back to the two string seven fret and then come up to the two string, what's the, the relative to our capo, 12 fret, it's the real 13 fret. And then we're coming back down to the two string seven fret, and then the two string five fret, and then the two string seven fret. So the first round of it very slowly is And then the second round of it, the first part is the same. But instead of going down to the five string and or down to the five fret and then back up to the seven fret, we're going to go down to the five fret of the two string and then down to the three fret of the two string. And then it goes three fret, two fret before. repeating back. And then finally there is a third riff that is happening on top of that that's going something like that. So I'm actually just going to speak now in terms of real frets because whenever I get up here towards this 12th fret uh, I'm terrible with the math of trying to remember where I'm at with the capo. So we're going to start on the first string with our first finger on the uh, on the eighth fret of the guitar we're going to go 8 10 11 and then 11 uh, I'm sorry then 10 11 so 8 10 11 10 11 and then slide up to 13 and then back to 11 and then 10 and then 11. And then we're going to walk that down 11, 10, back to 8. Like that. And that's happening. Again, you're not going to be able to play all these parts at the same time, but if you're looking to record the song or uh, accompany somebody else on guitar, those are the guitar parts that are happening in the song. So, um, those are the chords and the movements that you need to know for All In by NDA Youngboy. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.